Mm, yes. I'll put the couch here and the holo projector here. Yes, that will work out just fine. And perhaps a nice painting up here. Of me, of course. Master, I was surprised to hear you summon me. I was told the Jedi had defeated you. Ah, Count Dooku. You've arrived. Good. I have excellent news to share with you, my apprentice. Can I be of service, my lord? Well, my apprentice, it turns out that now I am immortal, and I have no need of you. So, you can start by accepting your fate and dying. <laughs> eh, well, that was a short-lived guest. Hm. Now that I have control of this talk show, what should I do? Oh, right. It's just me. Let's see. Oh, to hell with it. I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Master, how did I end up here? What happened? Oh, nothing. It was just a practical joke. Yes, well, let's begin. I wanted to control the universe. And now here I am. In full control. Impressive work, my master. I presume there is nobody left to challenge you. What? Eh, probably not. Those pesky Jedi escaped through some portal or something, so I doubt there'll be any issue. Master, if those Jedi escaped, they may indeed pose a threat to you. We cannot allow for any mistakes. Ugh, fine. Go after them. Gonna give me some advice. I'm the one who's the Sith Master here. I may need assistance, my lord. My assassin, the Sedge Ventress, should be more than capable. Whatever, bring your wannabe Sith with you. Right away, my lord. Which portal did they travel through? Uh, it was one of these three. Let's see. Master, it's important we know right away. Can you not rush me? I'm trying to think, for the love of Lucas. I'm nervous, guys. Where even are we? We didn't make it back to our time. To escape Darth Sidious, we just jumped into the closest portal to us. Find where we are. We should. Top priority. It is. Hey, why don't we ask this guy over here? Hey, buddy. Uh, what are you doing, citizen? Get to your residence. You're well out past curfew. Whoa, whoa, sorry, man. I just thought... Sexy voice, by the way. What are you? Is that clone trooper armor? I'm the one asking the questions here, buddy. In case you hadn't noticed, I have the blaster. Sir, we'll get out of your hair if you would just be so kind as to tell us what year it is. Hey, TK-21, get over here. Get a load of these geezers. They want to know what year it is. Think they know anything about the Jedi in this area? Damn, what's with all the sexy-voiced soldiers around here? You will tell us where we are. We will tell you where you are. You're on Kobo, 16 cycles after. It's the Jedi! Run for your lives! Oh my, Lucas, it's you guys. What are you doing here? Is that Cal Testicles? It's Kestis. What the hell are you guys doing here? Whatever, no time to explain. We have to move quickly. Cal Kestis, the youngling you are supposed to be. The future we must have traveled. Master Yoda? Oh, whoa, this really feels too good to be true. Come on, guys, we need to move. Master, how can we be certain that Sidious knows the right portal? This is the third one we've tried. Do not think too hard about it, Ventress. It'll hurt your little head. I am not as stupid as you think I am. I'm more than just a machine of death. To be honest, I really don't care what you think. I am doing the thinking. Whatever. Let's find these Jedi. You there, soldier. Have you seen any Jedi around? Oh, wow, you sure do look evil. We're on the clock here, darling. Tell us quickly. Oh, you must be Inquisitors. Good, we sent for one a while ago. There's a Jedi that's been camping out here. He should be out near Rambler's Reach Outpost. Thank you for your cooperation. I'm still gonna kill him, though. He annoys me. I know. Do what you must. Wait, what? <laughs> we should be safe here for a while. Tell me what's going on, guys. We lost control over the world between worlds. 
Darth Sidious came back somehow and... Gloss over the details. We should. Important. We return and stop him once. And for all, it is. I see. Well, how can I help? Are you sure we can trust this place? And who were those guys out there that you cut down? Why does he need a reason to kill someone? Sometimes you just get the impulse, you know? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that aspect of you. How can you forget about that? It's like my defining character trait. Guys, we don't really have time for silly banter this time. Cal, what have you been up to here, and how can you get us access to the world between worlds? Look, I may have something, but if it doesn't work, maybe I can reach someone in the hidden path to help you guys. I'm sure some Jedi out there knows something about it. Well, I guess I trust Cal Kistasickle to find something. Not like we have a choice. I might know something about it. Whoa, it's Daddy. I mean, Din. Contain it, sugar. I'm not here to make pleasantries. I've been stuck in this time period for weeks since you sent me through the wrong portal. Sorry about that. It was kind of an accident. Another fuck-up you three had. Unsurprised by this development, I am. Holy crap. Who are you? <laughs> oh shit, Grogu. Get it away from me, you must. Holy shit, you're like an old man Grogu. This is Master Yoda. He's the Jedi Grandmaster of our Order. <laughs> not your father, am I? Prove it. Yadla could not. Child support. I could not afford anyway. I'm so confused right now. For once, I agree with Anakin. This child, Yadla claimed it, was mine. But a lie this was. For bitches, I do not get. Look guys, I've been trying to find a way back to those portals since you dumped me here. My search led me to Cal, too. Great minds think alike, then. Ah, oh, there you are. The Jedi we've been searching for. Who the hell are you? None of your concern, Mandalorian. No! Dooku, what are you doing here? This isn't your time period. Sidious sent me here to clean up some loose ends. Perhaps I'll begin with you, Kenobi. Take all four of us. You cannot. Die you will. Like the bitch you are. He's not alone, dear Master Yoda. He's got me. <laughs> oh yeah, we got the baby too, so technically that's five against two. They may have a point, Master. Maybe we can't take them all. Nonsense, Ventress. We are lords of the Sith. We can handle these Jedi with ease. Guys, I might have found some- Whoa, what's going on over here? Oh, fuck this. Ventress, I always knew she was a sniveling coward. Huh, now it's seven against one. Seems like you're royally fucked. Anakin, wait. Let's give him a chance. A chance for what, Kenobi? It's too late for me. A chance to show us how to get back to the world between worlds and stop Sidious. Allow you to exist, he will not. A Sith Lord craves power. And with us gone, nobody left to challenge him. There will be. Which means he won't have any uses for you anymore. I see your logic, Jedi. I will help you. But there is a problem. Let me guess. You can't get erect. What? No. What the hell do you mean? Anakin, we're trying to have a serious conversation here. Me too, and I know some really good ED medicine that can help with that, Dooku. It's good you came to us with this. Shut up, Anakin! What's the problem, Count Dooku? My master told me he would pull us from the world between worlds when it was finished. He's been watching us the whole time. Kidding me, you have to be. <laughs> what a joke. My own apprentice betrays me. Oh, I should have seen this coming. Lord Sidious, allow me to prove my worth to you. I will not fail you. It's too late. There are seven of them now. We'll never get close. I'm just gonna have to... Where? Wait a minute. I have an idea. What do you have in mind, my lord? I need... I need to pull our battle station through a portal somehow, and put it into orbit above Kobo. Then we can destroy the entire planet, and the Jedi along with them. You can destroy an entire planet. Well, yes. I've been plotting it for years. I'm sure in some timeline I've managed it. Clever master. What would you have me do to help? Alright guys, that was... A bit crazy. Yes. Disturbing this revelation is. Somewhere we can go. For he of the gaze of Sidious is there. I believe that he has only lock on to me. So I can leave the room. You can talk in private then. Ah, oh, poor Grogu. Mando is all burned up. He'll be okay. He just needs Bacta applied to the burns. Help me take off the armor, Anakin. 
Look, Grogu, you're going to need to get off him or he'll die. He's got a creed that says he can't take it off. As much as I'd love to see what's under there. Grogu. Sad it may be, but die he will. Unless we remove his armor. For the love of Lucas, I said no, bruv. What the fuck? Did Grogu just talk? Yeah, I did talk, you stupid blistering orange. Lay off my dad, I'll just hit him with some force healing, alright? I told you guys he could talk already. Nobody listened. Shut up, old man. I think that Cal guy wanted to talk to you about something anyways. Uh, right. Well, yeah, I think there might be an access point out in a Bedlam Raider outpost. There's a lot of High Republic tech made by the Jedi on this planet. It's as good a lead as any, I suppose. Grogu, can you handle letting Dooku know what's up without, uh, giving away our plan? Sure, bruv, whatever, I'll be just fine. But my daddy's life is the priority, you hear? This still creeps me out. Keep the opinions to yourself, love. Almost there, just a little further now. Okay, okay, stop, stop. I'm tired. This is only a giant sphere, master. Why is it so hard to fit through here? I don't know. Let's just let, let's just try turning it to the right. All right, on three. One, two, three. Ow, ow, all right. Stop, stop. My back. Oh, Lucas, my back. Ow. For a lord of the Sith, you're kind of pathetic. I don't need your insolence, child. Ugh. Now I don't have anyone to help. Ah, fuck this, bro, and... Wait. Why don't we just roll, stupid thing? Ah, it's so much better. Who would have thought? Sometimes it really is the simple things you don't think of. Okay, this here might be an entrance point. You see, it's got those three people and shit on the walls. I haven't been able to open it, though. Oh, yeah, this looks like the other one. Good work, Cal. A dark presence, I sense here. Strange, this place is. Yeah, there was an Ogdo here. Craziest motherfucker I ever fought. Literally more difficult in a 1v1 than even Darth Vader was. Now, I doubt that. Vader seemed pretty powerful, you know. Another Ogdo. Cal, don't tell me you killed it too. Well, yeah, I did. It was him or me. Damn. Cal, you know those creatures are endangered, right? And I still need to find one and return it to Satine or she's gonna hate me forever. Watch your language, BD. He doesn't mean any offense. Forget this. We must. Focus on the doorway to the world between worlds. All right, so how do we get in? You just need someone powerful enough to force it open, like me. That's why we had the gate open in our time. See, that was easy. I sometimes forget how insanely powerful you are. I know, right? It's a good thing I'm not turning evil or anything. Imagine how many more innocent people I could kill on accident. I'd rather not. All right, I'll go get the others. Let's finish this. As soon as Ahsoka is here, everyone do their job. Succeed, we will. Know the plan. We do. I'm ready. You ready, BD? <laughs> All right, so there we go. Talking should blow it up any second now. I can't wait to see the looks on their faces on me. Well, they're gonna be gone in an instant, so... Damn, I really wanted to see them suffer. Oh, uh, well... How is Dooku doing over there? Hmm, yes, standing around, very productive, your fuck. Oh, uh, what's this? Oh, he's moving. Where is he going? Oh, now, bro, is that other entrance to the... No. No, there's no shot. That would be way too convenient. And there would be such lazy rides. No. No, it can't be. How are you back? Uh, no matter. I will destroy you all myself anyway. This party's over. Tough luck, Sith Lord. Not like this, my master. What a pathetic excuse for an emperor. Another old man for me to beat up? I love killing old Sith farts like you. You can't defeat us all, Sith. Time to end this. You're a dead man, Grandpa. Wait, Grandpa? Uh, forget it. Bad choice of words. You don't know who you're dealing with. I'm more powerful than any of you could ever dream of. You ain't all that, bruv. Prepare to die. This guy is really full of himself, isn't he? We'll stop him, won't we, BD? Your abuse of this place will last no longer. Your time is at an end. Charles. Idiots. I always thought you were a creep. I'm going to enjoy this. Everyone, let's end this Sith once and for all. Ah, 
Ah, what the fuck? I can't fucking watch the V20. This is bullshit. Ah! Yay, we saved the galaxy again. An excellent execution of the plan. All of you. I must admit, I am impressed. I told you, idiots. He was gonna come back. Why didn't you prepare for this? It all worked out, Raven. You can go back home now. Oh crap, I don't think it worked. Destabilize the world between worlds is. Once more. Everyone, go back to your portals, quick, hurry! What do we do? Where even is our portal? It's over here, jump in! But, but what if it doesn't work? It's going to keep doing this unless we stop it right here and now. No time for games. This is Young Skywalker. Come back. No. This is what I was meant to do. I'm the chosen one. I can save the galaxy. Everyone leave now. I'll hold it together. But Anakin... No buts! Snips! Get out of here! Go! All right, Anakin. Let's do this. One last fight. For Padme. Ah, oh, we made it back. But... but Anakin is still gone. It's fine, we'll just go get him back when the... Wait, where's the doorway? Closed it is. Anakin shut the doorway. As we left. No more world between worlds. There is. But Anakin... is he trapped in there? Perhaps. Gone Skywalker is. Sacrifice. Himself to save us, he did. I don't know how to feel. On one hand, he was a genocidal child murderer, but on the other, he was a great friend. And I loved him. At least in the end, he did something good. Hey, what's up, guys? Why do you all look so sad? Anakin, you're alive! What happened in there? Oh, it was pretty weird. I just used the Force and the cracks completely healed themselves. It was literally just what Revan said to do at first, but I just tried a little harder. So what you're saying is that all of this could have been avoided if you'd just actually done your job before? Basically, yeah. Of course, a slacker. Skywalker has always been. Also, I brought Padme back from the dead. Look, I don't know what happened and I don't want to know. Well, I guess Anakin doesn't deserve a sand bath for once. A sand bath? My goodness, that sounds horrific. Who would do something like that to my poor Annie? Um, you did. A few times, actually. I, I would never do something like that. I love Anakin. That's so horrible. I'm so sorry, Annie. Are you okay? It's okay, dear. It's just a bit more trauma to add to my collection. I'm just glad you're safe. Oh, a happy ending then. This is. But what about our talk show? How are we supposed to do it without the world between worlds? What do you mean? I can open it back up when we need it. I'll just be a bit more careful and actually close the doors when we aren't using it. So, this is like what? The end of a season? And the start of a new chapter in our lives. Hmm. My Kitami back on Dagobah. I must find. Need a bump. I do. And so ends the thrilling finale of the Star Wars of I series first season. Stay tuned for more episodes in the future, as the Clone Wars trio will continue to interview new and exciting guests from across all of the Star Wars media. Subscribe if you enjoyed, like the video, and comment something about pizza if you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.